This is not Thomas Cup twice. Um, my name's Benjamin, a uh, long time friend of Brassen. I uh, just flew in the other day, and uh, boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> I had to do it. Um, I was told, <laughs> some of you are just catching on that joke. Uh, I had a lot of jokes prepared for tonight, but I was told the uh, fraternity stories. Um, some of the gaps in high school, and um, just the fact the wedding week was a little uh, off the limit. So I'll just say you're welcome and real tight to that. Uh, just to echo some of the thoughts of some of the other guys, uh, like Thomas and David and James and, and these guys, I've grown up with Brad since uh, about gay high and t-ball, and got to walk through um, every stage of life every step together, and it's been an incredible blessing uh, to walk through the early years of school, um, go through the, the pains of high school, uh, youth group, uh, entering college, uh, placing the same fraternity, doing sports, uh, and just life together. Um, it's just been an awesome blessing, and it has been a unique opportunity to uh, meet a, a great group of Orlando girls that Miss Kaylee Peter. Um, I wanted to show them a good, uh, good time and bring them up for an Alabama Florida uh, football game weekend. And, uh, but before I did, I, I needed to warn them. As David said, uh, Braxton and, and our friends are, are terribly, terribly messy. And so I had to prep the girls that this could be a, a rough weekend that I was staying at the uh, uh, mega house, as they call it. And, uh, Birmingham. So I was, I was telling them uh, what to expect as far as uh, real football goes, and uh, also what to expect uh, this week with the guys. And actually, I didn't paint a very pretty picture of Rex um, to start off because I wanted to warn, um, I wanted to warn the girls, most of all, that Braxton's room was probably going to be uh, the worst. Um, and when we pulled it up late Thursday night, um, I didn't have high hopes. I already warned the guys at least two or three times to keep this place clean. And I saw hanging from the tree in the driveway uh, a gator on a noose. So I didn't think that many would be best welcome. Uh, but to my surprise, we're actually the guys had the place to pick And um, uh, Kaylee was impressed from the get go. Uh, actually, just last week, I got the opportunity to, to talk to Kaylee for 30 minutes on the phone. And I just kind of go through some questions. I needed some material to roast Braxton with over the, the bachelor party meeting. Uh, so I was asking her, what were her first impressions? Um, how did this whole thing go about? What was the first day of life? Um, and I got to be there for that. Not only did I get to introduce them, I got to actually go on their first day uh, to double things together. Uh, I get to see all that. But it was really interesting to get to see kind of the flip side of, of how their relationship grew and developed and what it was. Uh, so I asked her, you know, where were you? Uh, when was it that she first uh, um, one of your major days with Braxton and, and, and felt these kind of things for the first time and asked her, when was it that Braxton felt for you? Um, uh, she wasn't too sure um, on the question of, uh, well, she, she answered the question, when did she first fall for Braxton? If you wanted the details, it's a cute story. Uh, ask her later, because Katie can tell us where to write, like no one else. But what I remember most is when I asked, uh, when, did, when was the time Braxton really felt? When, when did you feel um, that this is it? He was the guy. Uh, the interesting part was, um, and Kelly thought for a few minutes and uh, said she couldn't really recall the time that she didn't feel loved uh, by Braxton. Um, that really stuck with me because, uh, as a friend of Braxton growing up, um, you always feel the energy, um, you always feel uh, the excitement about tackling life and whatever you're doing uh, together with him. It's just so neat that uh, you brought that uh, into this relationship. Um, and just getting to see uh, how you've grown as a person recently and how you've grown in this relationship has been uh, an awesome one. Hey, I made you cry, didn't I? Um, I won't do it anymore. Um, I'll just close now. If, if you got a glass, go ahead and raise it up. I want to give a toast to these guys. Um, and speak on behalf of the group here that you both been tremendous blessing. Uh, you've enriched all our lives. And I know this union together is not something that's meant just for you two. Um, it's meant
meant for your future family, it's meant for the family you've got here, the friends and community of those animals. And uh, we thank you for the enormous blessing you've been on our lives and uh, for the years to come. 